Mike Fitzpatrick cares a lot about women's health. We talk about it often. Obviously, Mike has a wife and three daughters. Of course, he cares about women's health. Mike Fitzpatrick wrote the Rape Prevention and Education Grant Program Act of 2005, creating 80 million in funding for prevention and education. Representing dozens of female domestic violence victims in court pro bono, Mike has seen firsthand the challenges facing abused women. The feelings of helplessness, confusion, and powerlessness are devastating to any woman who has been a victim of abuse, and it shaped Mike's perspective and commitment to protecting them ever since. Mike Fitzpatrick is one of the only people inside the Beltway that's going to understand what we really need to do for women's health care. Not because he's a congressman from Bucks County, but because he's a cancer survivor who's walked that path, who's walked that journey, and knows what it's like to hear those words, you have cancer. And unfortunately, so many women hear those words, and they're unsure of what their future is going to hold. So Mike Fitzpatrick is that one person in Washington, D.C. that understands what women's health care is all about. Mike Fitzpatrick is exactly the kind of guy we need in Washington. He's the guy that's there to do things right for his community and things that are right for his country. Mike Fitzpatrick took his cancer experience and used it as a stepping stone to having a whole new look at how we approach fixing our health care problems in the United States. And he's dedicated to making that happen. And I personally want him in Washington to be my representative because I know that we will have an excellent health care system when the right people get around the table and put their mind to it because this is a problem that can be fixed. I'm very thankful for what Mike has done for our family. I really don't know where we would be today without Mike. Things just might not be the way they are today without him helping us.